Hey everyone, Greco Fabulous here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the optical drive in your Type 2 Sega Saturn with a Phoebe ODE by Dunon. Disclaimer, this installation is for informational purposes only. I am by no means an expert and can barely put together a coherent sentence, let alone complex machinery. What you are about to watch is my first attempt at this installation, and my hope is that some of you might find it helpful in your quest for Sega Saturn immortality. Attempt at your own risk. The Phoebe Optical Drive Emulator is an SD card based replacement for your Sega Saturn Optical Drive. Basically it allows you to play games off of an SD memory card instead of using the game disc. So why would you want to do this? Well, because like all things you love, that optical drive will eventually die. And since Saturns are a finite resource, you might have a tough time resurrecting Sega's 32-bit behemoth down the road. So here's what you're going to need to get this done. A Phoebe ODE kit by Dunon, a compatible Sega Saturn system, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Dunon's instructions say it should have both a PH number 2 and PH number 1, but I'm not masculine enough to know what that means, so just make sure it fits. Alright, so let's get our hands dirty. Step 1 is to pop the top. To do so, we're going to have to flip the console over and remove these 5 screws. Obviously, before you do this, you're going to want to make sure you disconnect all external cables, controllers, and remove any game discs. Once the screws are removed, carefully flip the console right side up while holding onto the upper cover. Once upright, then you have my permission to die. Or, you know, just take the cover off. Now that we can see the guts of the system, I'm going to quickly verify that this is indeed a Type 2 Saturn. The dead giveaways are that this board here extends the full length of the system, and that the flexible flat cable travels laterally. Ideally, you're going to want to know what type of Saturn you have before you order your ODE since it determines which device you need and how it should be configured. There's a great guide on Dunon's website that will help you in this endeavor. Alright, so moving on. Now you're going to want to disconnect the power and flexible flat cable from the existing optical drive. In both instances, I tried to grab as close to the base as possible and gently pulled up until I used enough force to remove it, slowly rocking it back and forth. Once those are disconnected, you're going to want to remove this screw right here completely, which will now allow you to extract the optical drive. At this point, you might still have some kind of floppy tentacle thing left over. You'll want to remove this by unscrewing this screw here. Once this extra appendage is removed, make sure to put that screw right back into place. Now let's take a look at our Phoebe ODE kit. In this kit you should have the Phoebe ODE itself, a brand new flexible flat cable, and a couple plastic support pegs. I'm going to start with installing the support pegs, but first let's clean up a little and remove the other end of the original flexible flat cable. To install the support pegs, insert the thin end of the peg into these two small holes on the Phoebe ODE until you hear a click. Make sure that you are inserting the pegs into the bottom of the Phoebe to give it legs. With that done, you can now drop the Phoebe ODE back into the Saturn by lining up the two big holes on the Phoebe with the two built-in pegs that are closest to the front of the system. Make sure that the Phoebe is oriented so that the opening of the SD card slot is facing the rear of the system. With the Phoebe in place, we can now reattach the power cable and the new flexible flat cable. Start by inserting one end, conductor side up, into the Phoebe connector slot. The other end goes into the connector slot built into the system. This is a straight shot so make sure you don't unnecessarily twist the cable. In order to get the cable to lay flat, you will need to fold it over itself. Yeah, something like that'll do. Once we're good here, replace the top half of the Saturn, flip it over, and screw that sucker back in. Now let's see if our transplant has been a success. It 
Is there anything I can't do? So as you can see, the install was pretty straightforward. As long as your Phoebe is correctly configured, it's pretty much plug and play. Obviously this is only half the battle, you're still going to need to prep an SD card and get some games on there, but luckily there's already good videos out there that exist that cover those topics. Special thanks to Dunon for making a really cool product and everyone else who helped along the way. Thanks to my regular subscribers for suffering through a non-toy haul video, and thanks to everyone else for using this product lawfully. Cause Greco Fabulous don't play no piracy. Arr.